Deep in the rugged forests of Scotland, an extraordinary diversity of wild haggis thrives. These peculiar creatures, long believed to be a single mythical species, are in fact a branching genus comprised of numerous subspecies, each uniquely adapted to its local environment. Now, after years of patient perseverance by the Haggis Wildlife Foundation, we're finally able to witness the extraordinary reality of the world of Scotland's wild haggis. Being a wild haggis enthusiast is about more than just solitary pursuits. It's about connecting with like-minded individuals who share a passion for the haggis and Scotland's rich cultural heritage. Without the haggis, the forest would lose a vital part of its life cycle. Each haggis, from the lowland dweller to the highland soft breed, plays a crucial role in maintaining the diversity and stability of their respective habitats. But what exactly are these wild haggis creatures and how do they differ from one another? Let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of haggis species to find out. The pure Baltic haggis is a shy, elusive little animal that makes its home deep within the ancient pine forests of Scotland. These timid creatures are incredibly shy around humans. At the first sign of movement or noise, a Baltic will instantly freeze motionless to avoid detection. They only come out on the darkest, frostiest nights of midwinter. The lowland haggis thrives in the dense forest undergrowth, while the highland soft breed is perfectly suited to the rugged mountain terrain. These adaptations are not just for survival, though. They contribute significantly to the health and balance of their ecosystems. By foraging for food, haggis help to spread seeds, promoting new growth. Their burrowing habits also aid in soil aeration, enhancing nutrient cycling in the forest. Simply put, without the haggis, the forest would lose a vital part of its life cycle. The iron brew haggis, a diminutive and orange-hued variant of the traditional haggis, predominantly consumes fruit from the iron brew tree during its juvenile and adolescent stages. Upon hatching from its egg, the juvenile numpty haggis faces a multitude of environmental challenges and threats prior to the development of its locomotive appendages. It is immediately confronted with numerous perils that pose significant threats to its survival. These hazards persist until the creature successfully undergoes its early developmental phase during which it grows its legs.